Are you are you a man? What is a man? Does a man need a rugged tablet? Dell has been doing this uh, rugged series of devices for a while. They got laptops, they got tablets. Is there a more manly uh, tech video host? No. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Wait, this is a rugged tablet, right? Brandon, can I damage this table? Here it goes. Woo! That's a chunky boy. It's like a piece of meat. You can, you can get, you can get his hands on that, you know? Arr! And look at all those buttons on the front. Oh, brightness controls, volume controls, and then what looks like uh, customizable buttons. Two cameras up top? And it's also got a privacy shade. Hackers can't steal your <laughs> private construction secrets. <laughs> Obviously this is rugged and crazy because it's not meant for the average person. It's meant for construction workers, you know, scientists out in the field. Wait, what's this? Oh. On this side, we got a Kensington lock and what looks like a vent. On the bottom, little pins for like the keyboard connector or other type of connectors that you might connect. On this side, ooh, okay, so here's where we get to the I.O. Power plug, serial port, I think that's called? I'm assuming that's some sort of specialized connector for like specialized equipment. Uh, here we got, ooh, display port, USB 3 of some kind micro SD card slot and a headphone. Oh, combo jack, headphone and microphone jack, as well as a power button. Oh, and then on the back, we got dual batteries. You can configure it with just one battery or two batteries. Is that an NFC touch point? Oh, and also a rear camera here, also with the privacy shade, wow. Am I missing anything? It's rugged. Okay, where's the power button again? <laughs> The moment of truth. Is is it is it really a tablet or is it really just a big giant mock-up you might see in Ikea? The fan's going and then it stopped. These things aren't meant to be intuitive. This isn't an iPad we're talking about here, okay? This is a very specialized piece of equipment. Are the batteries dead? Oh, there we go. Now, if I was confused by that, I can only imagine what like people who aren't super into tech would would uh, experience. This thing has a capacitive screen, but the sensitivity have been, has been set way higher. So it'll be able to feel your finger through your glove. Let's uh, take out these other accessories here. So this, I believe, is the kickstand for it. But before we do that, we're gonna bring out the, the keyboard. This is the manly show. We don't, we don't cut things, we just rip them off. Ah! Okay, this is the keyboard dock that is compatible with the Latitude 7220 rugged tablet. I have absolutely no use for any sort of like rugged anything, but like playing around with these almost makes me want to just get them because I like the aesthetic of it. I like how thick and chonky it is. And who in their right mind buys something that's just like beautiful and shiny and doesn't want to throw it on the ground. It almost makes me want to just get one of these just so I can do that. All right, here we go. How, how, how easy is it to attach it? Boom! That was super easy. Wow, 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 wow. Ah! Okay, that's screwed in. It just comes out, boom. All right, that's pretty good. Ooh, whoa. That touchpad is not amazing. They're not looking to be like, well, oh, the latency is the smallest it could possibly be. It's like, if it works, if you're out there and there's like literal sparks and lava flying at you, if you can still use your laptop, can I use the touchpad with gloves? And you can! Nice job, everybody, we did, we did it. Oh wow, that's some old style touchpad buttons. It's like mushy. It's got a Intel Core i7-8665U, which is a four core uh, processor, 16 gigs of LPDDR3 uh, RAM, and 512 gig NVMe SSD. This is an 11 inch full HD anti-glare glove compatible display as we've seen. It's got Wi-Fi 6, it's got built in LTE, and we, as we said, there's the 34 watt hour lithium ion batteries. This is a five megapixel front facing selfie cam and a eight megapixel rear camera. Oh, that's pretty nice. I mean, there's like no resistance. Oh, so yeah, there's a fingerprint sensor. Nice one, Brandon. The fact of the matter is that because of all the extra protection measures that Dell has built into these things, 
there's a bit of a premium. List price is 4,500 bucks, but I think right now you can get it for like 3,000 something. It is a little steep for the specs that this thing has. That extra value, you're getting it in the fact that it can withstand a crazy amount of torture. Apparently you can store it for seven days in 71 degrees Celsius environment. <laughs> Die you would you would die, but I mean at least you know that you know if you died your laptop would survive and carry your legacy forward. And on the other end of the spectrum, it goes down to you can use it as low as negative 29 degrees Celsius weather. That's crazy. Okay, drop the drop numbers. This is what we're interested in. Shock 48 inches transit drop. We could probably drop this a bunch, right? Ourselves? So, oh no! Oh! 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 <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Who cares if it? No, Andy. What? Yeah, it's fine. Hell yeah. Hey, well that was fun. Thanks for coming along, everybody. At the end of the day, that's kind of the whole idea of these things, right? You, they got to take a little bit of punishment. Well, that's about enough of that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. That is a short circuit for you, in case you didn't see one before. This is our uh, kind of unboxing channel. Uh, if you're looking for LTT, that's a different channel. Why don't you subscribe to this one if you're not subscribed already? We, got, we can do some fun stuff together. I know we can. Love you. <laughs>